Not sure about the giant flowers visually. Bruh, Ning Ning. Ning Ning hot. What? Once again. Mm. Okay, this is the first sound I've been really happy with since the beginning. What's going on? My name is Anubi Warrior, and welcome back to my K-pop reaction channel. And today is a bit of a weird reaction. Uh, I don't normally react to remixes of these uh, these Ice Cream SM remixes, but I do actually often listen to them, and I think they're pretty cool videos and pretty cool remixes. Often, um, it's just not something I've ever reacted to before. But on account of it's been a long time since I had an Espa reaction. And also because today's a bit of a celebration, if you have not heard yet, Espa is coming back, I believe, October 5th with Savage, uh, which, uh, can I just say, this is an absolutely very cool visualizer that they have. I love the kind of um, almost Viking metal aesthetic. Uh, the Black Mamba here reminds me of the World Serpent a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I'm super excited. I'm hoping and praying. I've seen rumors that it's a mini album this time that we get five B-sides. Like I would I would take just one. Can we just have one B-side? But five would obviously be five times better than that. But I just please let me please let it be true. Please let Espa have more music. Please, please, please. Um but yeah, anyway, so hope you guys enjoy this. This is the I believe Hobros Cabras. Um not familiar with this particular producer. Um, I actually do listen to a fair amount of the artists over at Ice Cream, so sometimes I am familiar, but this one I'm not familiar with. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, please click like, please consider subscribing, uh, and uh, let's go! Next Level is also a song with a lot of weird different sections, and so I feel like remixing it's going to be really, really interesting, so let's see. Okay. I'm also curious about what they do visually, too. Ooh! Ooh, I like the riser a lot. Oh, we, 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 we're hitting me with the, uh, with the, the, the silver, the silver Karina right away. Okay. I was not prepared for that visually. Help. Mm. Oh. This is very um kind of punk wave. I'm curious like how many of the different melodic sections they use at all. I'm kinda digging it so far. This is a long build though. This really has to pay off or it's gonna be weird. Uh, I don't love... I feel like you needed a much harder drop. For as long as you built that. Okay, it's kind of a fake out build though. We're getting an additional build maybe. Okay. Uh, I think they flipped that. Oh, that's actually... That's actually a really cool way to use that. Not sure about the giant flowers visually. Bruh, Ning Ning. Ning Ning hot. What? Once again. Mm. Okay, this is the first sound I've been really happy with since the beginning. I'm... I really like that synth. Once again, though, like, I, if it drops to the same place, I don't love this drop. Okay, it's a little bit different. Okay! See, like, I like this drop more. But, like, where it's dropping to, <clears throat> this progression is not my favorite. I think it needs, like, okay. Electronic music, super subjective, right? Uh, you guys mostly hear me talk about K-pop. I talk about electronic... <clears throat> Excuse me. 
I listen to electronic music a lot when it's not K-pop. Basically, it's electronic music, hip-hop, and then, like, K-pop is pretty much what I listen to. Uh, some other weird stuff like Broadway musicals and theatrical music and OSTs and stuff. But um, what I was going to say is, like, I'm a big fan of melodics, and so, like, but it's it's obviously super subjective. I feel like this is a bit drum-heavy for, like, what I would prefer from this. Like, I like the basic elements of it, but I would want, like, another melodic synth hook, probably. Rather than just this sparse fill. I do like this riser a lot. Like, it's less that I dislike anything they're doing here. I just wish that there was more to it. I'll let you guys know in the comments which of these remixes I like more, because there's a bunch of them, I think. I'll probably listen to all of them on my own. And then leave a comment pinned with which one I like the most. Because usually I like, like, at least one or two off of one of these screen things. Kind of weird to reuse that one clip of, like, <laughs> the shoulder. I'm on the next hmm. Not in love with it. It just feels a bit empty, I think. In my opinion. Aww. It just feels a little bit empty. So, like... I definitely, like I said, I, I definitely can't wait to listen to the rest of these. Um, I This one will probably end up being my least favorite just because it's so empty. There were some cool, some really cool spots. Like, I actually, like, this build feels fine. It's not amazing. But I need it to pay off much bigger with, like, a filthier bass. And it kind of just falls back to the empty drums. Which, like, that snare is fine. It's just kind of nothing. I don't know. It's not as much as I would like, I guess. I like the risers through the whole thing. I think the risers are, like, the best part of this. But then, this part is cool with kind of the flip... The flip vocal sample is sick. I like... I really like how this piece of material is used. Too hot. Like, we could have used this in the chorus more. I mean, if you're just gonna have the drop that empty with no other synths, we could have used more of the fun melodic pieces. Love these synths. Love these synths. Love these synths. Like, this part is definitely the best part of this remix, I think. For sure. For me. It's just disappointing when, like, even with the, this drop is a bit more elaborate, but where we go to, it still feels kind of empty. And you all know how I feel about the clap. I, I, I hate leaning on a fake clap, so that's not, that does not speak, uh, does not go kindly for me. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my take on the Habrost, Habstract, Abstract. However you say this remix. Um, not familiar with Abstract as a producer. Uh, this one didn't land for me. Let me know if you guys liked it more. Uh, let me know in the comments section. Do you guys actually... Do, do we believe the rumors, Mize? Do we believe the rumors that we're getting B-sides for real? I hope and pray. Because right now, none of us can have a discussion about our top three Espa songs. Because there's only three. We can't keep that at four. We need at least one B-side, even if it's a single album, please. Um, so hoping this rumor of, of six songs with five B-sides is true. Maybe one of those is an instrumental or something or a remix. Um, so it's like four songs. Uh, but I don't know. Hoping and praying for more Espa music, <laughs> just like every day. But at least we have some movement and a sick logo today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more Espa content. Click like. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And please remember to stay newbie. Thank you so much to all of my patrons with special appreciation going to Wookbook, Daniel Reigns, Muse Ribbons, Gioti Sharma, Lucky 7 Gen, 42 Ariadna, Atsushi Ray H, Dwight, Medicare for All, and Jalen Raylon.